Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I am doing an energy forecast and I just want to wish you all very, very well over the festive season and may you all have um, a fabulous beginning into the new year. And I just also want to thank you all for, for subscribing, every single one of you, and for my regular viewers. It's great to have you and it's really nice to know that we are a bit of a community. So I would like to talk today about the energy as it stands. And I haven't done an energy forecast in the last new moon and I felt that it was time to actually talk about it because there has been so much going on recently. So I'm going to talk today about the themes uh, that we are facing at present and I'm also going to talk about how it is that we can work with what we have already uh, for this year. I'm also going to talk about how we can manage some of the things that we are confronted with at present. So I think that while 2020 has been uh, a very in, in interesting year for injustice, and for facing injustice and for coming to reckon with injustice. What we have as we go forward uh, right now, it's begun already a few weeks ago, and as we move into 2021, what we have uh, has a lot to do with acceptance. You know, It's about whether we're willing to accept the status quo. It's about whether we're willing to accept certain roles that we play. Um, it's about whether we're willing to accept certain uh, some kind of um, treatment from people, whether that be in personal relationships such as family relationships or with friends or with a loved one, or whether it is in a work relationship or in a in a dynamic where there you know there's a teacher and student or in you, an intern and somebody who's teaching you, and so uh, it has it it impacts every area of our lives and it's almost like written in bold, you know, as a headline, acceptance. Are we willing to accept or are we at that point where we are, are so awakened by this energy and by the information downloads that we've been receiving that we are saying to ourselves, I'm not able to accept this any longer or I see this clearly now, but I can't go forward with this any longer. So. In terms of love relationships, it's really difficult because, you know, if you care about somebody, if you love somebody, and if there's been hope that you can be in a relationship, uh, and then you recognize that you can't continue because you can't accept whatever it is any longer. And it's not just, it doesn't have to be, you know, devastating or abusive or really um, whatever, something really horrible. It could simply be that uh, you have a different value system or different way of behaving. But if you come to that point where you decide, well, I cannot accept this any longer and I need to move away or I need to move on, then what's going to happen is that you're going to be torn between what uh, society's um, programming or society's uh, conforming of you. It's as if you're going ahead and you are going about your daily experience and then suddenly in the last few weeks or as you go ahead, you're going to be having these realizations that are uh, kind of coming to a, a head and you're going to be saying, well, I cannot accept that anymore. Uh, I'm not willing to accept that any longer. But because of society's programming, because of society's expectations of what you will conform to and what you will not conform to, it becomes really difficult because um, whereas one's intuition uh, and what one what one is tugged to, on, or what one is drawn towards, is to leave, is to walk away, is to move away from that which is no longer acceptable. Society may expect you to stay within that situation because it appears to be good enough. Okay, but that is just a conditioning that's taken place over time. You know, over the last hundred years or so, and I think that. It really is a kind of um, time to look at what it is that we are 
accepting and what it is that we're working with and what it is that we need to work, walk away from. So it could be um, certain behaviors or certain attitudes uh, or something like this that has been prevalent for many years, you know, a long time, uh, your whole life or uh, just a, or a decade or a few years or just a few weeks. It doesn't matter. The time frame doesn't matter. But it's something that it's like your growth and your new realizations will make it very difficult for you to continue to accept that. And what's happening is that the energy is moving us to greater resonance, okay? A greater resonance with what is true and what is sincere and um, what is respectful of one's being, okay? And one's soul and one's divine purpose here. So it's a very interesting time because there are many layers of what's going on. There's like a kind of universal layer and then there's like... Um, a layer of what's happening in the media and then there's this layer of what's happening with with you know certain agendas and then there's also this idea of um uh, of d uh, different countries different societies different communities so you have all these different layers and suddenly what you're experiencing and what you're working with is going to go through all of that and you're going to be finding that you either are moving very rapidly towards resonance and towards truth and towards having to live um, with complete sincerity and um, honesty, truth. Uh, or you're going to be really part of the stream that is almost uh, a whirlpool, you know. And the, the image that they give me is like a whirlpool, like of, you know, water going down a sink. And it really is that. So it's about catching on and, and understanding and um, just really tearing away, peeling away various ideas and uh, beliefs that you might have had until now. So that is the first theme. It's about what you're willing to accept and what you're not willing to accept. And, and as I said, it interacts or um, it crosses. It, uh, crosses um, all your areas of life so it would be personal um, and private as well as you know in a more professional um, arena but I think it's especially in a, in a personal in your personal life and I think that um, you know one of the other themes that are prevalent right now is whether we stand together or whether we allow ourselves to be div divided and to be conquered and that could be in a uh, you know family setup, or it could be also in a national setup, or you know you know in a bigger and in, in a looking at a bigger picture. And so, it's it's very much a theme, but I think that theme will become will become more relevant to us or to most people uh, in the consciousness a little bit later on. So right now, if people were more, if they were able to stand together and not be divided uh, and speak with one voice, one resonance, then what would happen is that there would be a, a real huge shift of things right now and that would uh, almost eliminate um, many things that are under the surface that are taking place at the moment. But what's happening is that um, as consciousness, we haven't all arrived at that point. And so we are still grappling with that. We are still allowing ourselves to be divided as nations, as with races, as in a, in a family environment, with an employees and employers and, um, you know, it's numerous other examples. So if you were to become more aware of that, of, or look at where there is division or look at where what you're being told or what you're being informed about actually see, uh, has the result of dividing you or separating you um, then then I think you could be wary you can look at that and be more more aware of that because I think as we come into the later parts of 2021 that is what we're going to be faced with but in the meanwhile it's more about yeah what am I what am I willing to accept and what am I not willing to accept and then you know how am I how am I how am I supposed to go forward so another theme 
is that of intuition okay now this has started a while ago already and it's been in the works and it's almost something that we have to really work with and really develop and really um, nurture because as we go ahead that intuition your connection to the divine your connection to yourself to your soul to your well-being uh, is going to be so much more important and so much more relevant uh, as we head forward because that is going to be our only port of access to what is truth as we go along oh wow i know that it just sounds so weird the way in which i'm saying this but i'm kind of like skirting around words because it's very difficult to to speak the actual truth on, on these YouTube channels and, and um, in the world, you know, uh, without mincing your words uh, because you, the video would be blocked, demonetized, or your channel could be struck down, etc. So, um, and also, you know, a lot of these words right now are thrown around, and what can happen is that they instill quite a lot of fear and they also seek to divide people. So, one has to be really careful with which words you use. And a lot of words have uh, a, another meaning right now. So, but what I'm trying to get at here is that um, our intuition is almost being stripped away from us as humanity, okay? And it's been going on for a long, long time. And, you know, I think it's been going on for as long as the Industrial Revolution has been around or when that started. Uh, but now what's happening is that there's a kind of final push to have that energy be removed. But one's divine energy, one's connection to the consciousness, uh, one's connection to oneself is actually probably the only thing that can help you uh, to work through the next few years and to actually help you to stay stable and not, not lose your mind, not uh, enter in a panic state not feel insecure, not feel um, uncertain about who you are and what your purpose is here. So there may be some of you who might be wondering, you know, what am I doing here? Or why am I living? Or what is the purpose of my life? Or, you know, why do I have to be here? Or, or just, you know, those kind of thoughts. And I think that it's very much connected to not being one with oneself and I think that the best way to I think I spoke about this before uh, perhaps in another energy reading but the best way to work with this is to actually meditate and to um, to go inward just to spend a minute at least uh, with yourself per, per day without being stimulated without being distracted without being drawn away okay and so um, yeah so I think that uh, that is something that, uh, sorry, I keep looking at the at the carpet in front of me here <laughs> instead of for the camera. Apologies for that. Um, so, okay, I'm going to stop doing that now. But basically, uh, this um, uh, this this moving away from our intuition is what causes us to feel disconnected and what causes us to work uh, against our intuition or not even recognize our intuition. So I would really behoove those of you who have some connection to your intuition, who's, who feel confident in your intuition, to really work with that further, to really develop that further, to take it a little bit further uh, in your, in your, um, in strengthening it, you know. And as I might have said on this channel many times before, you know, your intuition is like a muscle. And I'm sure many other people have said that as well. But it's it's like a muscle and you need to actually just work with it and strengthen it at every chance that you can get. And uh, that's going to help you to see um, and to have a, a greater insight, right? And what else it's going to help you with is um, to be able to discern what is false from what is true and what is real from what is uh, not real, what, what is being imposed upon you, what is simply a projection or a hallucination or an illusion. And so this is what that is re relevant for. So, um, 
so that is like the major broader themes that we are going to be working with now on a personal level or on a more intimate level what what we're going to be working with is um it's almost like we are um it's really easy at this moment to break away from people or to work away from people uh, to actually um walk away from love or from um from in, from good friendships or from people that you might have trusted and who might have played a, a, a big role in your life over the years and i think that uh right now it's there's almost a push from above for that but it's important to just um kind of follow that and work with that and understand what that means and understand it in, in a greater context and not in a oh you know I'm this person's left me or I need to leave this person and I'm devastated about that and it's so hard you know because that is a kind of illusion that distracts us from what is really going on and so if somebody has taken space away from you or if you have decided to take space away from someone then recognize that this is something that is necessary at the moment and respect that and wait for it you wait for the um not not to say that you should wait for this person for the rest of your life or anything like that but um what what you should do is wait for the the lessons that aren't there that are waiting to come through and open your mind awaken to that okay because for way too long we have been in a um in a paradigm that makes us believe that it's okay to suffer and it's okay to long for it's romanticized you know the longing for someone or the, the pain that is felt uh, when one breaks away from another but if your soul and your well-being your higher self is working in accordance with yourself and you have uh recognized the highest being or higher self and the soul of another uh, in the namaste principle the divine in me recognizes the divine in you then what's going to happen is that when you separate there's going to be tolerance there's going to be love it's going to be unconditional you're going to be doing so because you both need growth that you cannot have together okay now what we've been led to believe in the last god knows how many years maybe 2 or 300 years is that longing and attachment is something that is normal and something that is uh, a necessary part of the pain of separation but this is not entirely true because that is uh it is a reaction of uh a certain aspect of ourselves that it has to do with self interest and egoism and so it has to do with with coping with one's own losses and projecting um blame upon another and uh, being intolerant of the growth of another so this is something that's also fading away right now and this is also something that's becoming more clear you know it's becoming more clear because it's almost like you have to look at that right now and that it's like this you know your tolerance meter or um yeah your tolerance meter is just very uh sensitive right now so you're going to find that you're not really able to take on more of you know confusion or turmoil or uh difficulty or or or, or suffering when it comes to separation so just bear that in mind if you are going through some uh difficulties in this regard now it's not like one can flip the switch and it's all okay and all those feelings are gone because you've been conditioned for so long okay um and also genetically you're conditioned so i think just awareness from a mental point of view and heart awareness you know from a spiritual point of view from love from deep love is what's going to help you to to shift that okay so yeah so that's another thing now for some of you it you might be coming together with those that you've separated from 
uh, for a while. You might have separated from somebody uh, as far as a friendship is concerned or a romantic relationship, like maybe about 10 years ago or sometime in the past or just a few weeks ago. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter, but it can go as far back as 20 years, okay? I would say, or maybe for some people, some rare folks out there, like back 40 years or something like this. But uh, this um, separation that you might have had with somebody in the past is it's kind of closing in right now. It's almost like it's closing, like this closing time and space. And what's going to happen is that you're going to find that you get in touch with people, people get in touch with you from your past, and there's a chance to rekindle a friendship or love. Okay, so watch out for that. And um, yeah, uh, <laughs> you know when it happens, where you've heard it from. <laughs> so, um, so those are some of the issues that we are working with right now. And I think that as we go into the new year, we're going to find that there's more of that. There's more difficulty with understanding what is true for you and what is true for the world. And having there's also going to be a, an issue where you might find that uh, like others, like more, like the, the greater, the majority, think that in a certain manner and you think in another way completely and that's going to become really an issue as you go ahead because you might start to feel if you if you're one of these people who where this resonates with you might find that you feel quite um excluded from society if you quite quite um unsure and it's almost as if you need to go on a solitary path like um not because you need to be alone but because you're headed off in a direction now that only you can take and you need to take it alone. You can't hold hands with somebody as you go in that direction. You can't be have one foot in your parents' home and one foot outside and, and, and take this journey. It's like you leave all behind and you head off. And uh, for some of you, it's almost like marriages will be splitting so that you can head off and you can actually uh, seek what is waiting for you. And long-term attachments can be broken in this time. So uh, I think that that is something that is going to happen as we go ahead. Because it's almost like you don't have a choice but to go in the direction in which your soul is, is almost dragging you. So that is um, some of the energies that we're working with right now. I hope, they, uh, I hope you can make some sense out of them. And let me know if they resonate with you. And I just want to say once again, I wish you all a Merry Christmas if you are celebrating. And I hope I wish you all a fabulous uh, 2021. May it be an excellent year for you. May you overcome some of the challenges that you might have faced in 2020. And um, may you uh, make the progress uh, that um, you, are, you are led to make in 2021. May you be able to do that without any resistance and with ease and lightness of being. Okay, so that is my wish for you for 2021. A happy new year to you uh, in case you come to this video late and in the meanwhile um, by the time I upload this it will be Christmas I think and so Merry Christmas to you all. Um, try to have a good Christmas regardless of how the year has been. I know that some of you have had a really hard year, but I think that the magic is underneath us right now. And as we head into 2021, you're going to find that you're able to manifest so much easier. And this energy has started up in October, something like that. And it's going to continue for a, a while, especially with some of you. With others, it's already, the manifestation's already been underway and you have already manifested many things. And with others, it's almost like these huge shocks and realizations come into play and you're going to be making huge decisions. And it could be like, uh, like turmoil, or it could be like upheaval, but it's all for the better. So don't be afraid of that. Uh, welcome it and go on an adventure and find yourself through it. Um, because what you're going to realize is that you discover a part of yourself that you never even knew existed because this part of you, it's almost a new download <laughs> in energy and in soul in spirit that you haven't had before. So it's like 
you understand some things about yourself that you never even knew you were. And uh, this is actually a, a really fabulous time. So don't despair. Uh, 20, the, the time for manifestation and creation is still very alive, very vivid, this energy, you know, and you can actually do something wonderful with it. So keep an open mind and an open heart and go forth with that as you go into 2021. And good luck to all of you. All right. Much love to all of you. Thank you once again to all my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, <laughs> go ahead and do that. I don't often ask, but it's because I believe that, you know, that's something you should decide. But uh, if you are coming to this channel regularly and you haven't subscribed, well, consider do doing it. And in the meanwhile, I wish you all very well and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.